Hi, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to prove that the expected mean e of x is equal to a plus b over 2 for a uniform continuous distribution. Now, we should be familiar, first of all, with what the probability density function looks like. But for our continuous uniform distribution defined over this interval a to b, it's going to be that f of x equals 1 over b minus a for x greater than or equal to a but less than or equal to b and 0 otherwise. Now, how do we go about then proving e of x equals a plus b over 2? Well, in fact, it's fairly obvious because being the mean and we've got a symmetrical distribution, it's going to be centered right at the middle here. So it clearly is going to be the mean of the two values a and b. So it's going to be a plus b over 2. But if we want a formal proof, then one way that we can do it is just by doing the general formula for working out the mean of a continuous random variable. And that formula is that e of x always equals the integral of x times your probability function f of x and we integrate it with respect to x between the limits that your distribution is defined which in this case is going to be a and b. So if we're integrating this f of x is 1 over b minus a and that is a constant so being a constant, it's better if we were to actually put it out the front of the integral. So I'm going to put that out the front of the integral and we're integrating x with respect to x going from a to b. And if we integrate that, we'll put the constant down, 1 over b minus a, but integrating x in the usual way, we would get x squared over 2. And that's going then between the limits a and b. Now we just need to substitute b in first for x and then subtract what we get when we, sub, when we put the uh, a in. So we're going to get b squared minus a squared all over 2. So I'm going to write that as b squared minus a squared all over 2 times the b minus a. Now the b squared minus a squared is the difference of two squares and so that factorizes. So e of x is now b minus a multiplied by b plus a, the difference of two squares then. If you expand that out you'll get b squared minus a squared and that's all over 2 times b minus a. And hopefully you can see now where this is going because these two factors b minus a they cancel and so you end up with e of x equaling b plus a all over 2 and obviously b plus a is the same as a plus b so a plus b over 2 and there you go the proof that e of x then equals a plus b over 2.